<laughs> what is up everybody we were back in the garage and as you can remember we pulled the motor out of the box so we're getting ready to do the tubular cam member because we got a upr tubular cam member and control arms so we have to do that before the motor gets in because if not it's going to be a lot more complicated so might as well just do that while the motor is out if you didn't watch us pull the motor go ahead and stop this video right here go back and watch us pull the motor then come back and finish this video and if you did watch the video before leave a comment saying heart transplant so for those of you that don't know what a cam member is this is a cam member in this case this thing probably weighs i don't know we don't have a scale but a bazillion tons and it's making this char really heavy. So we're, everything's gonna be replaced with something that looks similar to this. This is a sway bar, but it's gonna be that construction, which would be tubular. We have to remove that thingy with bobber steering output shaft into the, the flux core capacitor and then goes to the turning Angie devices. So let's go. Chromoly one. So they have a mild steel and a chromoly. I decided to be extra and get the chromoly. How much is that way? With your armometers. I don't know, maybe like 25 pounds. It's about to cost you a headlights, what's about to do. Well, yeah, there are the tubular control arms. Ooh, and poly bushings. Look at that. Look at the oh, oh god. Ah! I made a mistake. Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> no. We need to take the brakes off. Oh, well, wow. that is way better than what I was trying to do. Tools, man. Tools. I'm done. All about tools. Every time I go to tell you guys something important, something happens. <laughs> Everything's falling apart. <laughs> Everything's falling. We're going to drop the whole cam member suspension thing as one piece. So basically, we're going to unbolt the strut, maybe. Possibly from the spindle and then just drop the whole thing down. All right, so now we're going to be uh, taking this is a really bad angle. I'm going to have to flip you guys around. And we are going to be taking the power, or oh, Jesus Christ, the steering input shaft out. And we're going to unbolt it from the spline here. And then we should be able to unbolt the bolts that go here, here, the ones back there, here, and here. And this whole thing should drop. This throat bearing is terrible. Listen to this. Yeah. It's like a bay blade. All right, so we got the K member supported with a piece of wood and a jack to help us lower this down because there's only two of us and it's probably gonna be a pain in the ass. All right, now we have light. So this bolt and this bolt and the K member control arm power st or steering rack should all come out. This girl that hit me up. I wanna be able to play your songs on my video. All right, ready, three, two, one. Bam, there it is, look at that. That is the old bulky K member. And there's a new one. That's 40, 50 pounds lighter than this. So it should be a nice improvement on front end feel and obviously lower the weight of the car because the less weight, more power, the faster you go. Once. So the only thing we have to transfer from the stock assembly is the power steering rack and the knuckles or hubs, whatever you wanna call them. So this man over here, let's you know, you you shut your mouth, okay? This man over here lets us put the K member in and bolt it all up. And he's like, pulls this little sheet out and he's like, yeah, hey man, the bushings have a different spec, you know, red's for drag racing, road course, the other's just daily driving, spacer kit. I'm like, what? And he's like, yeah, spacer kit. And he's like, oh dude, I have a spacer kit. So now we gotta unbolt the whole thing again. I forgot. Hey, don't even give me your forgot excuses. Now we have to unbolt the cam over and put year. this in between. I'm not, you, you shut your- You're trying to save parts for over a shut year. Shut your whole stuff. That's real life. You don't just buy so, all these parts out of the blue. You gotta save up for this shit, okay? So <laughs> now we gotta unbolt this, put this back inside, and then reinstall the cam. By the way, you don't actually need cam member spacers. This is only for my application because I'm putting a ginormous intake manifold on here. So hopefully this clears my little tiny hood speed. That's one reason I'm getting these. You don't need these if you do a camera break. Anyways, this is the part we forgot. That's what they look like. That's the 
upper one and that's the lower one and the two bolts thankfully that's what they look like that drops the k member half an inch and gives you an extra half an inch clearance we also have lower motor mounts too man look at how race car this is jesus all right guys got my new hoverboard here oh, just gotta add new wheels to it might be a little hard to drive well guys guess what that is right the k member is finally installed as you can see it's nighttime so it took a little longer than we thought we were also taking our sweet ass time making sure we got everything right because if we didn't then we'd have to go back kind of like we made the mistake earlier about the spacer see if we would rush through it we would never notice that but check it out here we go look at it you can see how race car it is oh, I'm just playing with you guys oh there it is don't mind the boot there it is in all its tubular glory you can see the spacers control arm nothing really to it what it looks like from the top. Trying to get you a back side. He's finishing up that side. That's it. That mod alone saved us 40 pounds. 40 to 50 pounds, depending. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. If you like this video and want to see more like it, leave a comment below. If you want these videos to be longer and or shorter and or none of them at all, leave a comment below. Please give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you want to be honest. And as always, keep racing, hit that apex, throttle out, and keep going into your number one. Love it, you guys. Trust me, I'm a mechanic. <coughs>